Hi everybody, it's Jackie Armand again here with another craft video. Um, today we are going to work on creating the black flame candle from Hocus Pocus. Max, no! Uh-oh. If you have never seen the movie Hocus Pocus, which hopefully you have, uh, by clicking this video, hopefully you have, um, the black flame candle is used to bring back three witches from the dead when lit by a virgin on Halloween night. And in the movie, our protagonist, Max Dennison, does just that. He lights the candle, brings the witches back to life, because he thinks it's just all a bunch of hocus pocus. He's wrong. <laughs> And of course, in lighting it and bringing the witch, witches back to life, he not only uh, causes a lot of chaos, but um, pretty much allows everyone to find out that he's a virgin because he lit the candle and it worked. So, um, poor Max. <laughs> Look, I'll get a tattoo to my forehead, okay? But anyway, um, this is something I've wanted to make for a long time. Um, I just didn't really know how to go about doing it. Um, there were a lot of things, uh, techniques and stuff that I wasn't sure how to achieve what I wanted, but I have watched some um, videos, some, I've seen some tutorials on like certain techniques to achieve what I want. So, uh, um, so we'll see if it works. Cause I've, some of these things I've never done before. Um, so uh, this is a journey we're gonna go on together and see if this works. <laughs> Uh, so, um, okay, I guess that's it, so, uh, for the intro, so we'll just go ahead and get started. Okay, so, all the things you're gonna need for this project are a flameless candle. I think I got this one at Target, but you can find them at Amazon. They're not too expensive. Um, it just lights up and makes kind of like a, a flicker. Uh, that's the kind of thing you want. Um, a piece of paper, like for your printer. A piece of tissue paper, white. Uh, cut a little bit bigger than your piece of paper. What do you know? <sighs> um, and a candle, a w actual wax candle that's about the same color as your flameless one, a glue stick, and some tape, and a hair dryer. Okay, so first what we're gonna do is we're gonna figure out a way to get the graphic, uh, a the kind of like, the markings and stuff that are on the black flame candle from the movie we're gonna put it on here and the way we're gonna do that and this is a thing that i've not done before so <laughs> we're gonna see if it works um is you print it onto the tissue paper and then we're going to uh use the hair dryer to heat the tissue paper and it's gonna kind of like melt into this wax so when you get a flameless candle you're gonna want it to be made of wax you don't want it to be plastic or else it won't work um, and the way you print the graphic onto the tissue paper is you take your regular piece of paper and you cut some tissue paper the size of your regular paper and you tape it to it. Um, I'm going to kind of like wrap it around the edges and tape it and then you're supposed to be able to feed it through your printer and it'll print. Now we're going to see if this works. I have never tried this before and it seems like a disaster. Um, but, uh, we're going to see if it works. So, um, okay. So I'm going to go ahead and tape this and then attempt to print it, the graphic, and hopefully it works. So, uh, okay. Okay, I've got my tissue paper taped to my regular piece of paper, 
and we're gonna see if this uh, feeding this to the printer works. <laughs> I'm really nervous, but I have a lot more tissue paper, so it doesn't work. We'll just have to try again. Okay, well, I'll see you in a little bit. Hopefully it works. Oh my God, it worked. You guys, I can't even believe this. I thought that for sure the uh, tissue paper was just gonna get crinkled up in the printer and it was gonna be a horrible mess, but it worked, you guys. I can't believe this worked, okay. Okay guys, so it worked. It printed on the tissue paper. I could not believe it. Um, okay, so, oh and by the way, this graphic, I cannot take credit for this. This I found on another website um, that is very similar to the one from the movie. So I will put the link to this in the description of the video. Um, I guess you could make it yourself if you really wanted to. I was too lazy. So um, yeah, I'll put a link to the description of this graphic. Um, okay, so then the next step is we're gonna cut it out um, to fit the candle. And then we're gonna use some of the hot glue to glue it down um, enough. And then we're gonna uh, use the hair dryer to heat it up so it will melt onto the candle. Now I've never done this before either, so <laughs> we're gonna see if this works. I'm kind of excited. Okay, so I'm gonna cut this out and we're gonna do all the rest of the next steps. Oh, and by the way, I'm gonna crinkle this up a little bit um, to kind of, so it kind of looks more I guess old because that's kind of how the candle's supposed to look. I don't know if it will do anything, but there's some creases already in it from uh, when it printed because the uh, you know the folds and the tissue paper. Um, but I actually kind of like that. So, um, but you, I guess you don't have to do this if you don't want to. But and I'm gonna put the the seam where the two uh, pieces of the graphic meet at the back, because I feel like um, that way we don't see it. Okay, so now we have it glued on, and don't worry about this stuff uh, on the little dip there at the beginning at the candle because we're gonna cut that off once this is all um, heated onto the candle. Um, so next we're gonna uh, use the hair dryer. I think I'm gonna start on low heat, and um, we're just gonna kind of like move around the candle, and it's supposed to melt the tissue paper into the wax. So. We'll see uh, how it works. Okay. Okay, so we're done. Um, I'm not gonna touch this candle because it's pretty hot, but you can tell it like really did, uh, it started disappearing. I, I used the low setting at first and it wasn't doing anything, so then I changed it to high. Um, there were a couple of places, if you can tell, that I held it on there a little too long and the, the wax started to drip, 
but you know, it actually kind of looks cool. Um, and we're gonna do some more dripping on here anyway, so I don't really hate it. Um, but yeah, if you're if you don't if you're worried about that, then make sure you don't hold it on a place too long. But man, yeah, that's really cool. It like totally disappeared into the wax, and it looks like it's part of the candle. It's pretty neat. Not gonna lie, this is pretty cool. It's starting to cool already. So, um, okay, so the next, ooh, it's a little moldable. Okay, I'm gonna let this dry for a little bit and then we're gonna cut this part off. Um, and then next what we're gonna do is we're gonna light this candle and we're gonna do some more drips around the edge here to kind of make it look a little more like it's been lit. Um, okay, that's gonna be the next step. Uh, I'll see you once this is uh, dried and cooled off. <laughs> okay, we're back. It is cooled off. Um, now what we're gonna do next is we're going to uh, take our um, actual candle that is about the same color and we're gonna light it and we're gonna kind of drip around the edges um, to make it look more real and then kind of also hide some of these seams because I, I went ahead and cut the extra off and um, yeah, so that's what we're going to do next. So I guess we could, while we're doing this, talk about, uh, you know, Hocus Pocus and like, you know, how great it is. Um, I know there are people out there who don't like it and I, I don't really understand that. <laughs> um, I guess I get this, you know, some people are like, you know, uh, I guess for most people like me especially, it's nostalgic, but I, I don't know. I just like, you know, some people are, are just like, it's not historically accurate and there are plot holes in it. And I'm just like, you know what? Can't you just enjoy something without, like if I wanted to watch a historically, somewhat historically accurate, which movie I'd watch The Crucible, but I'm not watching Hocus Pocus for that. I'm watching it because it's entertaining and it's fun. And yeah, there are plot holes in it, but you know what? Who cares? Like. Just, people can't just enjoy things anymore, you know? We gotta criticize everything. And, I don't know. It's one of my favorite Halloween movies, and I'll watch it even when it's not Halloween. Like, it's also just one of those comfort movies for me. Um, I don't know. Um, you know. Tell me what you guys think in the description, in the, you know, comments or whatever. How do you feel about it? Do you feel the same way? Um, do you like it? Do you not like it? Why do you like it? But I was also somebody who grew up in the 90s and like couldn't get enough witch stuff. I like anything that had to do with witches, I was totally in. I was involved. Like the craft. Sabrina the Teenage Witch, um, Charmed, yeah, like, uh, Halloween Town, another great, another good nostalgic movie, um, but, anyway, that's me, and I, I, I don't know, I love it, um, and I can't get enough of it. But there's always going to be people out there, I guess, that don't like something. But, you know, for those people, I feel really bad because that movie comes on all the time during Halloween, like constantly. And so if you don't like it, then I, I guess I could see that being really sucky for you because you're just, it's being shoved in your face. 
So, to those people, I'm sorry. <laughs> but, uh, you know... Uh, that's the price you pay for not liking something that everybody, literally everybody likes, so. So, I, I'm gonna, I'm like mostly building up the top here, or this front part. I'm gonna try to like build it up too, so it's like, kind of raised up a little bit, is what I'm trying. But I really want this, this edge here to be really drippy, yeah, that's what I'm going for, but. You can do whatever you want. That's the great thing about these kind of projects. You just let your artistic mind go where you want. Right, I really like this. I kind of even went in with the the lighter and kind of like uh, um, kind of made this go in a little bit more and also kind of like smoothed out some of the drips that went down inside the candle because I didn't want that to happen. Um, but yeah, it looks really good. It's pretty awesome. Look at that. This is so cool. This turned out so neat. Okay, so now the next step, which I think I forgot to mention when I was talking about the supplies you need, is you're gonna need some kind of a permanent marker. Um, you can use a fine point Sharpie or something like that. But we're gonna draw on the flame here. Um, but we're gonna basically draw the black flame on. Um, I've seen some uh, things online where they also colored the flame gold around the edge where you're not, it's not gonna be black. But I don't know if I wanna do that cause then it's gonna, um, you're not gonna be able to see the flickering. So I don't think I'm gonna do that. I think I'm just gonna do the black and I'm gonna just call it a day after that. So I'm gonna do that really quick. And we'll be done. can see that. Yeah. I just kind of colored a little flame um, and I left a little border around the edge so that the, you know, it can flicker. Oh, that looks cool. Neat. Oh, I might have to go back over it with like a Sharpie because um, this pen didn't really want to write on that plastic very well, but um, I guess I can just do that later, but yeah, it looks pretty good. Looks cool. It's the black flame. And I thought about doing the back, but you can't really see the back, so I'm not gonna worry about it too much, but okay. But that's it. We're done. We shall be back. And it's done! We finished! Oh my gosh. I love this. It looks so cool. I know y'all can't tell, um, 
with in this lighting when it's on, but it looks so neat when it's flickering. Um, obviously, I'll get a, a shot of it in the dark so you, you guys can see it, but this is so cool. And um, like crinkling, I will say re I recommend crinkling the um, tissue paper because it left like this texture. Like you can't really see it much, but it feels... I mean, you can see it a little bit, but it just feels, like, old and, like, oh, man, it's so cool. And then all the little drips on there that we did, it looks so good. You guys, I am so excited. I've been wanting to make this for so long, and I could not figure out how to go about doing it without, like, painting or drawing all of the stuff on there, and that just seemed like a huge pain in the butt. And this is so awesome. I love this. I am so excited to, to put this with my Hocus Pocus stuff that I have. Um, I I think maybe the only next thing I ever I want to make Hocus Pocus wise is the spell book. Um, so maybe that'll be in another video. Uh, anyway, it is. It turned out so. <laughs> I just can't get over how cool it is and and like that everything worked because I didn't think that the Printing it on the tissue paper was even gonna work. I thought that was just gonna be a total disaster That it was just gonna get crinkled up in there and get stuck in the printer and It didn't all all of the things worked out And that hardly ever happens to me when I'm doing a project something goes wrong usually most of the time but this turned out so neat. I love it. It is so cool. Um, but yeah, uh, I guess if you guys wanted to see me do the spell book, um, I can try and do a video of that sometime uh, soon, if that's something everybody wants to see. But um, I definitely did order some things for my Halloween costume already. Um, and I kind of want to start working on that. So there will be at least some progress videos of that starting soon. Um, I also think, I've also thought about doing a video um, kind of showing how I plan for my Halloween parties um, and the way I organize everything that I decide to do, like my projects that I, that I want to, you know, start, um, the food that I want to make, you know, all of that stuff. And I don't know if that's something you guys would be interested in. Um, let me know if it is, if you guys want to see my planning process and how I organize my thoughts. Um, because there's just no other way I can keep it all straight. Um, and, you know, it kind of might be a sneak peek for you guys to kind of see what I'm planning to do for my Halloween party this year. Like, you know, things to come. Um, so, I don't know. Let me know if that's something you guys want to see. Um, I find that interesting, but some people might think it's boring. But anyway, um, I guess that's it. So, uh, thanks for sticking around. Thanks for watching if you watched the whole video. Um, subscribe if you haven't. Uh, like this video too. Um, and, you know, uh, tell people about it. Anybody who else, anybody else who likes Halloween craft videos or spooky craft videos, um, cause I will be making more. Um, uh, there'll be a link to my Instagram in the description, um, to see kind of, you know, that like you can kind of look at similar stuff like this that I usually post on my Instagram. Um, there'll be links to my Etsy shop. Uh, I make a lot of witchy things in my my Etsy shop, so check that out. Um, also, if there if you're looking for uh, some more things to do that involve me in between my videos, I have two books on Amazon um, that I will link to. Um, one is a zombie romance, and one is a vampire adventure story. So uh, if that's up your alley, how? Go ahead and check that out, and um, you can read that in between my videos. <laughs> um, but uh, other than that, um, that's all there is. And thanks, guys, for watching. Thank you for all of you who have subscribed so far. 
Um, I hope more of you decide to subscribe and keep, wa keep watching the videos I put out. Um, but other than that, that's it. And uh, stay spooky, you guys, and I'll see you in my next video.